If you were in the minority this week where your Telstra business services didn't fail, lucky you. Some of you might be aware that uh, Telstra copped a bit of flack on social media this week in response to some customer complaints. And, and the reason why I'm raising this is because it highlights the importance of mitigation when there's issues arise and actually have the right staff and skill set to effectively manage a business page. Now, a lot of people I know in business, um, a small business where they, they in, manage it internally, they tend to put you know interns or very young staff that are inexperienced that they think you know a 22 year old might be able to handle their entire business accounts because they know the platform and they're young enough you know something like facebook but realistically it's it's a bit like you know a kid might know a teenager might know how to play need for speed on playstation but it doesn't mean to say you put them in the driver's seat of your formula one racing car right so we have to get the people educated and get their right skill set to make sure they can mitigate when a problem arises. So having your own social media profiles doesn't mean to say that you can effectively market, no code of conduct for business, no mitigation problems and how to resolve problems effectively. And also take advantage of social media as a, as a massive marketing opportunity. So my word of advice from Telstra, even the big guys can get it wrong, is to make sure you educate your staff internally if you're going to run it internally and, and develop their skills so they're effectively communicating with people because it could turn into a problem. Or if you don't invest, you have to sort of outsource. You've got to look at, you know, getting someone else in to manage it for you. So um, take a lesson from Telstra so you don't make the same mistake.